assalamu alaikum everyone yes i'm back with a new video in today's video i am going to be reviewing for you store-bought slimes in unique containers so let's check it out today i am going to be showing you the slimes that i got from these two places um, flamingo mall and suk minara in azizia ta-da 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 Wow. Wow. Which one should I check first? Hmm, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a spider by his toe. If he screams, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I loved it. It's just so colorful. It was this was five reals. See, it's written here. Five reals. Ah, you open it from here. I didn't want to break a nail. Hi, Yelp. Woo. Open, says me. Yummy. Oh, boo. No poking sounds. Slime's okay. It does have a very nice shine to it. It's not stretchy. Why, slime? Why do you do this to me? Slime is a fun and stretchy toy that can be played with over and over again. I don't know what formulation they have for this particular slime. It is very glossy, very shiny, but it is not on the soft side and it's not stretchy. And I feel like the container is not really helping the slime because the slime is kind of drying out little by little. Yep, this is my favorite. Whoa! It's a bit soft, but see, if I poke it too much, it gets tough. And yeah, it's easy breakable. Breakable! And this is 5 reals, but the amount of slime... Ugh. Oh well. The green was here, yellow was here, and pink was here. Ah, so pretty. It's so hot. Let's have some ice creams, slime ice creams. Next. I'll do these two. They are like jewels. Rightly so. Now these I got from Flamingo Mall Kiosk. And they were three reals each. Open. Ah, oh, this opened really nicely. This slime is really soft. And I love how it has like the colors, but then it has the contrasting color, which is of the glitter. And it's giving a really beautiful sparkling effect. The slime, this 3L slime is so much better. Look how stretchy it is. It's like the night sky with the stars shining. No, 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 no. And the slime is so soft. Ugh. Dare I say, will it give us poking sounds? Let's let's find out. Mm. Not too much. Let's make swirls. Swirl one, swirl two, and adjust. And done. Very good slime. For three reals, this is a good slime. So yeah, see how it got cloudy? But if I leave it, it's gonna become clear like this. Wow, it's like amber. Amber is a hard yellowish and often see-through substance that formed from tree resin. Over time, these trees and their resin became buried beneath Earth's surface. The trees eventually decayed and disappeared, but when the resin hardened further, until it became amber. Many pieces of amber contain the remains of insects or plants in the form of fossils. Amazing. Next, which 
one shall we do? Any mini mini mo catch a spider by his toe. If it screams, let him go. Mini 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 mo. This was five reals. So here we have five pointed star shaped container in which they have the crystal clear colored slime. Great slime, very soft, very stretchy. Really clister. <laughs> Crystal clear. Yay, I finally set it properly. It's soft, but it's it's getting at that stage where it's getting tough. So yeah, that's not a good sign, actually. Ugh, not stretchy. Ugh. Why aren't you stretching? Ah, ugh. Okay, next, blue. And they smell good. No, they smell like cleaner. Okay, this is at least stretching. Is it crystal clear? So clear slimes are slimes that are see-through. It doesn't necessarily have to be transparent, crystal clear kind of slime. So this was like a purplish color and this one is a bit of reddish. They can have coloring in them and still be see-through such as this slime really clear now we keep talking about slimes what exactly is slime now a surprisingly humble cultural phenomenon slime is a mixture of household items that come together to create a polymer substance that acts like both a solid and a liquid depending on how you play with it do you know what makes slimes different from a regular liquid here's a look at the science of what slime is how it forms and its special properties. This is called a non-Newtonian fluid. Making slime and playing around with it is a great way to teach anyone about science principles. You're a star. Next, this one. This one was three reals. Not that much slime in it. Like this is literally the amount of slime. So what were we talking about? Oh yeah, what is slime? Now slime flows like a liquid, but unlike familiar liquids, for example, your oil and water, its ability to flow or viscosity is not constant. So it's a fluid, but not a regular liquid. Scientists call a material that changes viscosity a non-Newtonian fluid. This slime actually looks kind of yummy. It looks like those orange slices, gummy candy. It looks really delicious. But no, we cannot eat it. Ta-da! Very light colors. But it's still pretty though. Next! This I got from the Azizia Souk Minara toy shop. And it's 5 reals. It has this really cute ladybug. They had different colors of the ladybugs as well. Back to the science of slime. We were talking about slime being a non-Newtonian fluid. Now the technical explanation is that slime is a fluid that changes its ability to resist deformation according to shear or tensile stress. What this means is when you pour slime or let it ooze through your fingers, it has a low viscosity and flows like a thick liquid. So this is the cutie ladybug. in a flower. Oh, close. Help me, I'm trapped. Next. Now the last one. When you squeeze a non-Newtonian slime or pound it with your fist, it feels hard like a wet solid. This is because applying stress squeezes the particles in the slime together, making it hard for them to slide against each other. Most type of slimes are also examples of polymers. Polymers are molecules made by linking together chains of subunits. Now the specifics of how a type of slime works depends on its chemical composition, but the basic explanation is that chemicals are mixed to form polymers. 
The polymers act as a net with molecules sliding against each other. For a specific example, consider the chemical reactions that produce classic slime, glue, and borax slime. Now the cross-linked polyvinyl alcohol traps a lot of water, so slime is wet. You can adjust the consistency of slime by controlling the ratio of glue to borax or an activator. Now if you have an excess of diluted glue compared with a borax solution, you'll limit the number of cross links that can form and get a more fluid slime. You can also adjust the recipe by limiting the amount of water that you use. For example, you could mix the borax solution directly with glue, producing a very stiff slime. You can play with polymers and add different amounts of ingredients to see if you can change the properties of your slime. Twist it, mold it, stretch it, try it out and see how two different things made up of different chemicals can create something totally new. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, Press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I love is bye. Just a look at Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.